Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. Troops of Operation Habi Konama have killed 24 suspected bandits in Kaduna, Kanu and Niger State. 61 bandits were also arrested during the operation while 20 kidnapped victims were rescued. And no fewer than 12 people were injured after a three-story building collapsed in Fagba area of Lagos State. It was gathered that the building, which was under construction, collapsed on Wednesday night, leaving many people trapped in the rubble. Chief Executive Officer of Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, who visited the site, said there was no mortalities recorded and the victims rescued from the rubble have now been taken to the hospital. Former Ogun State Governor Ibikunle Amosun has denied claims that he stockpiled arms and ammunition in the state government house during his time in office. In a statement issued by his media aide, Rotimi Durojaye, Amosun claimed that incumbent Governor Dakwa Biodun was the main supplier of some of the armored personnel carriers he bought in 2012 to combat security challenges in the state. A federal high court sitting in the Buari area of Abuja has voided the criminal charge brought against Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Bajabi Amila. The African People's Party and one Anas Issa Mohammed had alleged that Bajabi Amila lied under oath while filing from CF001 of INEC to the effect that he was never convicted of any crime. Presiding Judge Justice Uthman Musa in his judgment quashed the criminal charge against the Speaker on the ground that the lower court lacked jurisdiction to entertain and determine the matter. The National Pension Commission says states operating the contributory pension scheme refused to remit about 3.4 billion naira pension contributions to the retirement savings account of workers. Acting Director General National Pension Commission Aisha Dahir Umar reviewed this during the second quarter consultative forum for states in Lagos. And at least 16 people have been crushed to death at a stadium in Madagascar during Independence Day celebrations. Details are unclear, but authorities said a crush happened as people tried to leave the stadium after a parade and police closed the venue doors. Super Eagles head coach Gannot Raw says he's satisfied with his players' performance in their one new win against Guinea at the Alexandria Stadium in Egypt. Kenneth Omeru netted the winning goal for Nigeria in the 73rd minute of the keenly contested encounter. The Super Eagles maintained top spot in Group B with six points following the win and are the first country to book a place in the round of 16 of the tournament. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching.